So, a few days ago, Apple released an ad about the Apple Watch Series 7. And the ad was a series of 911 calls from various people whose life was in peril and their lives were saved because they were wearing an Apple Watch and emergency responders were able to get to them. Well, for whatever reason, these advertisements have people in an uproar and they are accusing Apple of fear mongering. Bruh, not on my watch. I am the captain of Team Apple and I am not here for any Apple Watch advertising slander. Stay tuned to the video. What's up, people? This your boy, Viper, the man about tech, captain of Team Apple, baby. Back again for another video. And if you're new here, I help you better understand and connect with the technology around you. So if that's something that you're interested in, do all the YouTube things. But most importantly, I need you to go down there and hit that big subscribe button so you can get more of this hot tech content from the man about tech as I build this brand new channel up from scratch. So yes, a few days ago, this Apple Watch commercial came out and people got in a tizzy because they're accusing Apple of fear mongering just because Apple is out here spitting facts about the Apple Watch. Now, let me tell you a little story about me and my Apple Watch. So I've had an Apple Watch for, I believe, four or five years now. And one day, about three years ago, I was running up and down the stairs doing things for work. Well, when I got back to my desk, I felt kind of weird, but I don't really think nothing of it. A few moments later, after I'm sitting at my desk, I get an alert from my Apple Watch. Let me know that there is or was a potential high heart rate going on inside of me. Now, again, I don't think nothing of it, but when the Apple Watch alerted me to a high heart rate, I'm like, uh-oh, this is not normal. Let me see if I can go get checked out. Now, luckily, back then at my job, we had a medical center on site. So I went down to the medical center, told them what happened, and they hooked me up to an ECG, and luckily everything was okay, good to go. But had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I would have never been aware that there was a potential problem because I would not have known that my heart rate was elevated for whatever reason that day. So when you all come out here and accuse Apple of fear mongering, no, pump the brake, fall back right now. How many watches out there in the wild that you know of that can detect your heart rate, that can detect an irregular heart rhythm, that can actually provide an ECG reading from your wrist? That's right, this thing can provide an ECG reading right from the wrist. Also, the watch has fall detection. So if you fall and you're in a situation where you can't call out for help, the watch will immediately notify emergency authorities. How many watches you know that can be used as an actual phone to call out for help in an emergency situation? If you can't get to your iPhone or whatever, you can call emergency services from the watch and be good to go. How many watches you know have GPS? So if you need to be located, and you can't call out again or you're incapacitated, the watch has GPS so people can figure out your location and get to you and get you the help that you need. How many watches you know that has a blood oxygen sensor, which has become very relevant during our current situation in life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Nini, you know what it is. Also, how many watches you know have sleep tracking, a fitness tracker, and not to mention water resistance. So again, if you're out in the ocean and something happens, your Apple Watch won't get watered out because it's water resistant. So all of those things I just named off are on this one watch. This is the Series 6, but also on the Series 7. But a lot of Apple Watches have a lot of these features, even if they're not the newer ones. But the Apple Watch can do all of these things all together on one device. And regardless of how you feel about the marketing, these Apple Watch facts don't care about your feelings because the watch has the potential to save your life. And all you have to do is Google Apple Watch Save Lives and look at countless numbers of stories from people who have had their lives saved because they're wearing an Apple Watch that day. Listen, no matter if you have an Apple Watch or not, all of our days are numbered, okay? But don't act like Apple is doing some disturbance by highlighting the facts, the things that the watch can offer and do on a day-to-day -day basis. The facts are there. The numbers are there. Whether you like it or not, that's a personal problem, but it is not a problem of the advertising. It is not a problem of the watch because the watch has been getting the work done 
for a while now. It is why it is the number one watch in the world because it can potentially save your life and it is just that good. As long as I'm alive and breathing air, I am not tolerating any Apple Watch slander or Apple Watch marketing slander. If you want to talk to me directly, hit my Twitter. This your boy Viper, the man about tech. You know where to find me. So come back for more.